Yo, 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 y'all know what it is, your boy, Voice TV, and y'all know why we here. We here for the car, the real star. I'm with my homeboy Shane today. What's good, my brother? What up, dog? You said? We out here, now listen, we out here for real. So you might hear all, you might hear a plane flying over, a helicopter. This is like our fourth time trying to shoot this. We out here. <laughs> We out here. We out here. So, yo, man, what's going on, bro? Like, yo, so tell me, man, what what, what do we have behind us? This is, it's a dope vehicle. Let, let, let the people know what we got behind us, man. Yo, we got a 2014 uh, Jeep Wrangler. I got the two-door with the soft top. Um, yeah, man, I got this thing. It's very customized. I normally have a light bar on the top. Took that off uh, for now. But uh, this thing's basically made for going off-road, being in the mountains, being dirty. You know what I'm saying? Man, listen, when we was riding in the car, I didn't realize, with the Jeep, my fault. When we was riding in the Jeep, I didn't realize how many Jeeps were on the road until, like, we came over here. Oh, yeah, it's like a little, you know, when you pass it, when you in a Jeep, when you pass a Jeep, everybody throw their fingers up. And sometimes, man, it's like, yo, I gotta, I gotta just, I can't wave no more, man. It's, it's a lot, it's a lot out here. So, uh, so yeah, man, it's kind of like a little community. Everybody stay connected like that. What made you uh, get the Jeep? Yeah, man. So uh, growing up, my brother had a GEO tracker, a black one, soft top. And um, honestly, I thought when he was done with it, I would probably get it. I think he I think he wrecked it. I can't remember what happened, but uh, that didn't happen. And then my uncle, Michael, he had a, a Jeep. Kind of fast forward now, his son has a Jeep. My brother has a Jeep. I was like, man, I need something that I can just run over stuff. I ain't got to wash. You know, it's just natural. It, it is what it is. I can use it. You know what I mean? And this is like the perfect, perfect fit for me. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's very practical. And also, I've seen plenty of Jeeps. It's like, it's understood. So if it's dirt, if it's clean, oh, it's clean. If it's dirty, it's understood. It's, uh, it's no knock on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. You t I mean, you can, uh, you know, in the summertime, go to the beach. You know, if you can drive it on the beach, you know, it's nice to take the top top off. If you go, my brother uses his to go biking a lot. So we got the bike strapped on the back. So it's like a, a recreational top vehicle. Mm. So do you do you think do you think you will all since you have a Jeep now do you think you will always have a Jeep from now on? Man, I always say that I don't think I'll drive anything else. I mean, I might have a second car or something at some point, but as far as like my primary way of getting around, you know, I don't know why I got to pay car taxes because potholes all over the city. You know what I'm saying? The Jeep, like I feel like I'm off roading in town. You know what I mean? But <laughs> Being in the Jeep, man, it's just like, whatever. I hit it and I keep going. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm Jeep forever, I think, for real. For real? Yeah, man. I mean, Jeeps are unique. You see one, they come out with a new one every year, but the changes is pretty minor. You know, they got the new ones now with the the, uh, the truck bed on the back. You know what I mean? So the parts and everything pretty much stays the same. So it's kind of like, it ain't like you got an old model. I don't feel like they all, you know, they all look the same. And for me, even looking at, at cars, you know, this the Bronco's coming back. You know, they got the, the Bronco, and I look at the old Bronco because on the real, you know what I'm saying, O.J. Simpson should get some money for that beautiful commercial. You showed all that leg room in the back you can get, you want to stretch out, you know what I'm saying, the speed and the agility of the Bronco to be able to really, you know what I'm saying, outrun a situation if you had to. Um, but for my lifestyle, you know, you know I thought, I'm just going to, to Wendy's, you know what I'm saying? So I thought the Jeep was a better fit. And like for me, I think uh, it's just like a fun vehicle that I don't feel, it, it matches my, my personality. Like I'm just like a original jean and t-shirt and ball cap type of dude. And, and the Jeep is kind of that same type of feel. It's just a classic, original uh, type of vehicle. Yeah, man, I, I often uh, say a lot of time when it comes to the type of car, truck, Jeep or something that people drive, Sometimes you can like they look like they would. That really looks like them. <laughs> yeah, man. Like uh, and like you know the tops, man. You like being able. I, this is the first convertible type of vehicle I've had. So, uh, you know, being able to take that bag. It's like you got two cars. Sometimes you know you can, you know, you know ride around when it's raining and, and be good. But when the sun's out, you can you know peel that back and, and uh, you know, really enjoy the weather. So that shirt canceled, man. How do you feel? First of all, what made you get that shirt? Mm. And also, what what. How do you feel about the quote unquote cancel culture? Right, I mean, I think uh, everyone could, re any of us could be canceled by, this, by the rules and the standards that's being set right now as far as why people are being canceled. I mean, 
whatever you like, right? Whether it's a sport, whether, I mean, there's like a channel for everything out there that exists that you personally like. And so, you know, it would make sense that people would just go to where they, you know, to, uh, to the channel or to places or wherever, you know, uh, suits their interests, their beliefs or whatever. Um, and you could also say that's a closed-minded way to be because you're not opening yourself up to other environments and things like that, which is how I am, right? I don't mind being around people with different viewpoints and things like that, but I think, you know, what's happening right now is that uh, people say that they're open, people talk about freedom of speech and all these different things, and then as soon as someone doesn't like, you know, what someone says or, or does, it's just like, you don't even, they don't even have a chance to like redeem themselves or, or anything. It's just like, no, nah, you messed up, you out of here. And I don't feel like, I feel like I could be canceled for something, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and there's certain things that we celebrate, people we celebrate, and, and moments in you know, black history, American history, whatever it is. If we wiped away contributions of people that's invented things, people that's, uh, you know, started businesses, you know, all, you know, athletes and movies and film and all the different things there wouldn't be nothing left like there, there's there's uh there's like uh we're in a, a place where it's like we're just picking and choosing who we want to to let their mistakes kind of slide by and then others we're going to say well let's just pile on to everything that they've done wrong basically i think like you said now with the whole cancel culture i think you taking the learning out of it i think when you cancel somebody that's when you turn the conversation on Right. That's when, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, there's been a lot of people who have been canceled. And when they became canceled is when I became a fan. It made me kind of, I may not have paid as much attention to them and now all of a sudden they're on the news every day and everyone's talking about it. So I kind of start looking at them and whatever they're being canceled for is actually appealing because it makes them human. It's like, how, you know, how do we, I don't have kids, but it's like, how are you gonna raise, how does younger people supposed to just look at the outlook of life if you're you're always one moment away from from you know everyone is throwing up their hands and, and being done with you like you're gonna as a kid you're gonna make a mistake like your parents can't cancel you if you play you play sports right you miss the shot to win the game you know that's actually a learning experience that your coach is gonna you know try to, to motivate you and get you to be prepared to take the shot the next time so it's not like a you failed you didn't you didn't do the right thing so it's over for you. Like that's that's not even like a like a, a way to kind of go about learning from things and trying to grow and then build as a you know a person. So. That's real. All right, man. So hey, thank y'all for watching, man. Hey, I thank you, my brother, man. This is a great conversation, man. And you know the, the the thing that I try to do is just inspire dialogue. Yeah, we here for the car, but we here for conversation as well. And you know, man, people, we all gonna make mistakes, man. Let's not just counsel people like that you know we all do some ignorant things i know i've done my fair share of ignorant things and i will continue to do some ignorant things but like he was saying that's 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 life lessons you know the only way you can really learn is like from experience you can learn from other people's experience and you learn from your own experience man so yeah so thank y'all for watching hey man if y'all like what we're doing man give a, a, a thumbs up like subscribe tell your people tell your people's people and all that <laughs> Yo. Yeah. Peace.